Great, so let's talk briefly about image optimization. This is really important for two reasons. One, it's just another clue that you can give the search engines about what your web page is about, and as a result, you can rank higher in the search results. But secondly, and probably more importantly, it allows you to appear in the Google image search results. This is important, especially if you've got a physical product, and if you've got people searching for images there, if it's faster than for to visually find what they're looking for, rather than read what it's about, well then this is an important strategy for you. So let me show you a couple of quick things about how you can optimize your images. So if we return to the example article that I'm publishing in WordPress here about URL optimization, you can see that I've added in two images. One is just, you know, an example of good URL op optimization where the keyword is there. And then secondly, an example of poor URL optimization. And really there's just two things that you want to focus on. Number one is the alternative text. Make sure your keywords are in there and it's easy to read. And then secondly, what you want to do is just make sure the actual, oops, sorry, the actual file name itself includes the keywords. So as you can see, separated by hyphens, I've got URL-optimization-example. You don't want it to be something generic like DH1, XYZ, or whatever, screenshot X11 on the date. You want to put in actually descriptive keywords that'll help Google and users find your content.